A lot of destroyer concepts jammed into a bite-sized morsel. We'll get right into it. Uh, first off, we've been playing A over here. Kagero getting low. Uh, we're trying to take him out. Clear off this cap, uh, at least from the scoring threat. Now, as he goes down here, uh, we need to evaluate the situation. we got cruiser, we got battleship. They got a cruiser and three battleships, including the mines, which is extremely dangerous. So I'm not comfortable capturing A in this juncture, uh, but what I'm going to try and do is go over to B here. You can see there are... Other red destroyer last seen north of B, pointing towards C. Saying to myself, okay, maybe we got an opportunity to grab this. Uh, but as I'm going over there, I'm like, okay, let's just at least try and grab A. If these guys rush, uh, we got hopefully enough time to get out of here. If not, well, we'll consider the throw. Uh, but it's going to be rather difficult because I got a lot of ships very close to us here. If we get spotted by one of them, we get spotted by a plane. It's a lot of point blank uh, shots coming our way. Not a lot of HP in the Udachi either. So not a lot of huge room for or margin for error here. But we got to try. Now we did spend the first uh, almost third of the game trying to capture this base. It'd be kind of unfortunate to let it go uh, without scoring. But keep in mind, B still unoccupied here. So had I proceeded over there, we'd be pretty much about as far along with capturing that base as we are here as well. Now we also got a firm control of C. Looks like about two, four, six versus three over there. Uh, not quite yet on the cap, um, but that will change as the game goes on. We'll keep an eye on that uh, flank over there. So we send some torpedoes over here just to get them in the gap. If anyone rushes me, and if they're keeping an eye on the base, he might say to himself, so, okay, the destroyer's on there. Let's go get them. But those torps are not aimed at a particular ship. They're aimed at that gap. Anyone trying to rush me has to get through the torps. Maybe they'll get hit. Maybe they'll get sunk. As we capture the base, we need to gun the engine and we need to get moving, right? Because we do have a champagne, fast-moving champagne not that far from us. Take a look at that blue ring on the map. That's our detection ring. And we got three ships, you know, with them about a square of it. So that's quite dangerous. And we still don't yet know where the destroyer is. We do have Twist and Track continuing to suggest the closest ships are these four over here. And champagne coming in now. Champagne, I don't know the champagne's top speed off the top of my head, but it's probably about as fast as this thing. So that's getting me really nervous here, hoping those torpedoes uh, get ready because I want to get on this cap and I want to send some torps at that champagne. If he wants to be aggressive, push me that way, well, he might have to take a shot. Everything changes, though, as soon as the twist and track flips, and here immediately the Fletcher pops up. That's how close we are to both of these, about five and a half kilometers away from the champagne and the Fletcher. Now we got to break to this island over here. To the, it's our only chance. We got to get behind cover. Need to start dropping spot. We don't have a smoke for a minute. Luckily, we're going to see some shots coming in from the east. The team did move through C. We were panicking on the radio earlier, saying we need help. Uh, that woke these guys up. They actually, about three of them, decided to come through here, and that's going to be a huge turning point. All right, we've disengaged from the Fletcher. Put an island in between us and him. We're going to send a torpedo right at the edge of the island. Okay, the. Aim point's going to suggest way to the left of the island. We're going to send it right at. And that's just to slow him down, right? If he wants to take the quickest route to us, he's going to have to go through those. And if he has to go around them, that's going to slow him down. Let us get a little bit more time, a little bit more of a head start. Because we got a lot of uh, close quarters support ships. And that's what we're always talking about in Destroyer v. Destroyer fights. Who's got the better support? And I'm trying to bring this guy over to my support here. Uh, we're on the ropes. He's on the ropes. We fix our guns. Um, he's got one more shot. We got a dodge. We got a bob weave. And then Fletcher. He's not shooting here. So we immediately turn about, you know, 90 degrees or so, expecting torpedoes. Uh, just change direction. It's very hard to torp destroyers because if they're aimed on the indicator. Ooh, and widespread's not good. If they're aimed on the indicator, they're going to miss. So a lot of action there. Hopefully, you enjoyed it.